Welcome back. I'm Anushka Vaish and you are watching Creative Masti. So this is the part 2 of the chapter Ethics and Safety Measures in Computing. Don't miss the part 1. So without much delay, let's start a part 2. So in this session, we'll firstly we'll learn about preventive measures against the unethical practices going on in the cyber world. So in the previous session, we learned about the unethical practices like spamming, cyberbullying, etc. So in, in this part, we learn about what should be done to prevent them. So first is never use a public network or hotspot to assess sensitive data. Why? Because public Wi-Fi is always prone to security attacks and endangering your data and system. Second is never post your daily life activities on social media because hackers keep on collecting your personal data from social media sites. Third is always download or purchase licensed version of the software. As I told you, it comes with a license key, making it a licensed software. Fourth is always update antivirus and anti-malware software. Also, clear your browser history on regular basis and don't share your passwords with anyone so that they can in they are not able to infringe upon your accounts etc so the next topic we have safety measures to be taken while using computer and internet so first is install and update antivirus software as i told you they make update the software and scan the uh, other softwares to detect the viruses. Sec second is parental assistance and guidance. So it is a common practice that we usually give mobile phones and other di di the devices to the children at very young age, but this shouldn't be done. There should be strict parental guidance so that the children could be aware of the of the other hackers or malicious softwares when they are connected to the internet. Third is enhance your data security. So always updating your antivirus and anti-malware detectors, it will be a good thing for, a, for maintaining a healthy system. Next is share information only among known circles. So you should, you should never post your personal data if it's unknown groups or publicly in the global world. Because as you know, shared information travels faster than air, making it, it spread globally. Hence, be careful. Six is protection using firewall. So firewall is basing, basically a filtering point which acts as a wall between the user and the interface. And when connected to internet, it prevents unauthorized access from the other pub public networks. So you must use a path firewall that because it denies the permission to enter into the private network hence protecting your computer system next is always use strong and complex passwords which uh, which shouldn't be shared with anyone it's it should not be like your pet name or your parents name it should be a complex and strong password so keep all these things in your mind next is Digital footprints. So digital footprints is a trail of digital records left over in the online space. Now this data is known as digital footprints. Example, when you walk on sand or mud, your footprints are created. Like this are the digital footprints. Now, where are these created and you, how, why you should be safe from them? First is privacy settings. That is, your social media, networking sites, and banking, banking websites should be set to private. It shouldn't be visible to public. Second is, log off from online websites before shutdown. Because other social networks, once you close the website or before you shut down, it make it easy for the hackers to break into your user accounts which are always logged in. Hence, using your credentials like username and password, logging in and then stealing your data so be careful 
third is change passwords frequently and it as i told you it should be complex and change them at regular intervals making exam you can include like special characters numerical values upper and lower case of alphabets etc next is clear history and other browser data so the web browser keeps a record of all the websites which has been visited or opened by you this data is known as browser history along with browser history you need to regularly clean up the junk or the temporary data and the cookies for safeguarding your data last is creating awareness and this should be done especially among the gen younger generation and the kids who are exposed to cyber world they should be made aware from the safe practices with which they must follow to be safe in the online world so that hackers could not track them or steal the information from their private systems so thank you this much for today bye bye wait for me in the next upcoming chapters please like share and subscribe bye bye